All right, guys, so one of you on Instagram sent me a very interesting video of a Republican representative from Illinois, Miss Mary Miller, making what the mainstream liberal media is framing to be a shocking mask off comment after President Trump introduced her on stage doing a rally. And I want you guys to take a listen at these comments that <laughs> has left wing blue check Twitter freaking out and will probably have the mainstream liberal media freaking out as well too when they catch wind of this. Take a look. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, President Trump. It's a, such an honor to be able to welcome you to God's country. I'm in front of this massive crowd that loves you. I'm so honored to have your endorsement. President Trump, on behalf of all the MAGA patriots in America, I want to thank you for the historic victory for white life in the Supreme Court yesterday. Our victories for life and the Second Amendment would never have been possible if the never Trump rhinos had gotten their way. Yeah, so if you guys did not pick up on what she said there that is getting people triggered on Twitter, I, I want to just replay the part where you actually can probably pick up on it because I didn't pick up on it the second time I listened to it, which tells you everything you need to know about what she actually meant to say. But I'm, I'm going to play the clip one more time just in case you guys didn't pick up on it. President Trump, on behalf of all the MAGA patriots in America, I want to thank you for the historic victory for white life in the Supreme Court yesterday. Yeah, so the left-wing liberals who are currently raging across the country, orchestrating their own insurrection, right, in response to Roe v. Wade being overturned, um, they are taking what this woman said, which she clearly misspoke, and trying to say that she had a fraudulent slip in the sense that she said that this is a victory for white life. When it is clear, if you listen to how she was speaking, the tone in which she was speaking, her cadence, she clearly was trying to say this is a victory for life. She slipped up and said this is a victory for white. And when she corrected herself, she didn't go back and restart the sentence. She continued what she was trying to say. And she said life after that, right? She said this is a victory for white and she should have said, well, I meant life, okay? That's what she meant to actually say. This is a victory for life. She didn't mean to say white, okay? But they're trying to say that, oh, this is a mask off moment. They're coming out and openly saying what well, this is about. This is about white life, right? And again, I didn't really pick up on the fact that this was obviously uh, a mistake until I listened to it the second time and I listened to the whole thing, right? But with that being said, I want to make this video hard, right? I want to make this video hard and entertaining, right? Uh, let's assume that she said what the left is saying that she said. Let's say she meant it. She said this is a victory for white life, okay? Um, if that is what she said, I, I got a question as to, okay, well, if that's wrong, right? If, if the left is saying that's wrong because there are some black blogs that have posted this and saying, look, this is what they're saying, right? This is white supremacy here because apparently it is a sin, right? For white folks to come out here and say, hey, you know, I'm concerned about the white population, right? I don't want us to go extinct. Apparently they're not supposed to say that. Okay. Uh, so again, my, my question is if they can't say that, then why in the world can people of other races say similar things like this? I simply hope because I don't want to rush the conclusions. I respect Del Curry. He was a good father to his sons. I understand that there may have been a divorce or a separation between him and his wife. That's none of my business. But what is my business, Mr. Curry? What is my business, Mr. Curry? Is black men showing off white women in other black women's faces in public. What you do in your house is none of my business. What you do in your home is none of my business. But when I see a famous black man, Mr. Dale Curry, and I'm not disrespecting you, sir, but the cameras last night couldn't keep the camera off you and the snow bunny. 
They wanted Dr. Umar to see. Shout out to the NBA videographers. Because ever since I exposed the snow bunny crisis amongst black celebrities, the videographers have been helping me catch you runaway thieves. Ever since I exposed the snow bunny crisis, the NBA videographers have been helping me catch you runaway thieves with your snow bunnies in public. You left a beautiful black woman. It's not my place to even speculate on your divorce. It's none of my business. But how dare you, sir? How dare you? Come to your son's game at the NBA Finals with a snow bunny. You shouldn't have done that, Mr. Curry. I'm not condemning you. I'm not throwing you under the bus, sir. I'm simply saying it's a bad look for a man in your position to leave, to have ended a marriage. I'm not blaming you for the marriage. I don't know. That's none of my business. I'm simply saying that you were in a marriage with a black woman. And we now see you in public with a white woman. I want to add a disclaimer because I have no proof that that white woman was his snow bunny. But I did see you hug her a couple of times. It could have been an innocent platonic hug. I don't know. But by the looks of it, it appeared to be intimate. Yeah. So this guy right here, again, clearly a black supremacist. Could you imagine a white person saying the things that this guy openly says, right? In which he's basically saying that black men should not marry white women or be with white women for multiple reasons. One, in this video, he's saying, well, it's a bad look. It makes black women look bad. But it's actually deeper than that. He actually is vouching for racial superiority and racial purity, right? He doesn't believe in the intermixing of races, okay? But see, if a white person was to say the things that this guy said, they wouldn't even be on the internet. They wouldn't even be on the internet. Now, obviously, this woman right here is a politician. This guy right here... It's just a simp that's trying to get money off of black women on the internet. So there's a difference. There's a difference. She's, she's a politician. She, she actually is involved with policy. But I don't see what she said to be any different than when any politician comes out, black, white, whoever, but let's just say a black politician, and they say something along the lines of, well, this is good for uh, black lives, right? This is good for black people. Okay, I mean, that's basically the same thing. It's the exact same thing. But for whatever reason, when a white politician comes out here and say, well, this is good for whites, people look at that and they say, well, this is racist. This is white supremacy. But when any other race does that, though, it's fair game. It's civil rights, right? It's social justice. Again, somebody explain to me how this works. Because she obviously made a mistake. She didn't really mean that. But even if she meant it, what are the rules to this game, <laughs> right? Somebody tell me, are, are the rules that, well, white people can never come out here and say anything or advocate for anything that's overtly in their best interest. But every other minority group or so-called minority group, people of color can do that, right? Because apparently they're oppressed. White people are the majority and they have power, so therefore they, they can't. They have to handicap themselves in this racial superiority game because that, that's apparently that that's kind of what it seems like right so somebody tell me why is that and then somebody also tell me when does this dynamic change <laughs> when the white population is no longer the majority does it change all of a sudden can white people start vouching for themselves and say hey <laughs> this is good for whites <laughs> this is good for the white population again i'm just curious i'm not really even taking any sides here i i just want to understand why in the world do people freak out at the thought of a white person saying anything that is an advocacy of their race? <laughs> but everybody else, all other races can openly advocate for their races openly, right? Even at the expense of white people. You can say, oh, affirmative action. We need to discriminate against whites, right? In favor of other people who are supposed to be oppressed. You can do that. But if a white person says, 
let's discriminate against blacks, you know, or Latinos or Asians or whoever. Because we as whites are trying to win the race here, okay? We're trying to actually dominate. Well, well that's racist. You know, white supremacist. I get, I, I'm just trying to figure out the dynamic here. I'm trying to figure out why is one allowed and one not allowed? Because I think that if one is allowed, then it should be allowed for everybody to be equal, right? Because I don't think that the dynamic will change if slash when what the mainstream liberal media says is true. When the white population is no longer in the majority, will it change? Well, all of a sudden, will white people better have a civil rights movement, right? Will they better openly advocate for themselves? I don't think that that's actually what's going to happen, right? I don't think that's what's going to happen. So I'm just saying, if, if, if white folks can't openly come out here and, and say stuff like this, then why in the world can people say things like Black Lives Matter? Why in the world can you have clubs in Congress, groups in Congress that are just for black folks, but white people can't have their own caucus, right? You remember how the left got so upset about Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates starting, uh, I think it was like, <laughs> it was some caucus in which a part of like the draft of the, the bylaws or something like that, whatever, right? They, they was doing, it had something about Anglo-Saxon something in it, right? And the left-wing media freaked out. Oh my God, this is the white caucus. This is the pro-white caucus. You got a black caucus. You got a Hispanic caucus. I believe you probably got an LGBTQ caucus. You got an Asian caucus. But if white people get together and say, hey, we want a white caucus. Whoa, that's too much. I, 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 I'm just saying, is advocating for your own race allowed or not, right? Somebody please tell me, okay? Because if it's not allowed, then we shouldn't have all that stuff. We shouldn't have segregated groups by races and, you know, minorities being able to advocate for their own races and white people not being able to. But if we can do that, then white folks should better just say, hey, this is what's best for white people. And everybody else should better say, this is what's best for black people. This is what's best for us. Keep it fair, right? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I, I just got questions. I'm not taking any side. I just got questions about the consistency and the logic behind the outrage here. That's all I'm saying. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.